hello and welcome back to crochet flow my name is Paris and I am back with some makes that I have been working on like I have said um, in the last maybe two weeks I have been preparing for an upcoming farmers market and I am just trying to make um, stuff um, for that day in particular I'm full of fluff here sorry about that um, so I have made a few items i would like to share with you and without going too much into them most of them i have done just free flow this teddy bear i did a free flow um just made the body and the arms and whatever and it turned out pretty fine although i think maybe i should write up i keep saying that and I'll, i just better stop maybe i'll write up some notes and try and replicate instead of having to make free flow items each time i also made this tiny beautiful cow he's also free flow like i said i'm trying to create a small cow that won't spend too much time and I ha i'm not there yet because this one still spent more than an hour i would like to make a cow that will be about 45 minutes and i'm not there yet um, the, the thing I don't like about cows is there is so much sewing and in this one I had to sew even these parts. I did make some notes and I hopefully can uh, uh, make that into a pattern even for my just for myself to use in future because I really have to do my research on the process of writing patterns. So that's that. That's his finished, and he's about the same size with the bear. Almost the same process, except the the ears and the length. Um, that's the only difference between those two. The on the other thing is this one is a free flow, but of course um, it's um, inspired by crochet by Jenna, and I will attach her link down below if you're interested in making um sunflower turtles i don't follow any patterns i just wing it and it turned out just fine so i love this one i think i may make some more after the market if this one sells but um other than that i don't intend to make another one right now i also have these two turtles same process I just make the the shell and the legs they all work in rounds including the the claws or legs so it's a quick make um, except when I use a bunny blanket yarn it's a little bit tiring and it has too much friction so it takes me longer than when I use the sweet snuggles light yarn so that's those that's that I also made these two triceratops by following a video by louis i will attach his link down below i haven't really made perfect ones but i'm hoping to do maybe two or three more of them and hopefully they will turn out better than the first one but i love them they are cute and they are quick and easy to make i'll share the video down below that i followed as well sorry i have been sick so my voice is not very may not be very clear and my chest still feels tight so i may not be as bubbly as i should feel but it's all good i also made this leggy froggy into a big huge um frog he looks really good i i'm looking into projects that can bust whole like uh, a, a whole ball of yarn and this was a good decision i think i mean i will not make another one because this will this will probably not end up selling but i will just have it in my stand just to like add more of a pop in <laughs> onto the table so that's what i have for now um i might have to change the mouth i used the thick yarn and it doesn't look neat so i'll take that off and probably use um the crochet <coughs> the crochet thread to to make a better looking smile 
I love him. I was calling him my therapist. I did a video um, that turned out to be overexposed, so I took it down. But there he is. He is about, I believe, more than uh, 10 inches tall. So there you go. Just the same process as making a small leggy froggy, only using thick iron and make more stitches. The other thing I made is this big dino. I followed a video tutorial. I don't think I did very well in this one because uh, first of all, I used a hook size 10, 10 millimeters, which is quite large and the holes are too big. I'm not going to be using that hook again because then the stuffing can easily like in some spaces you can see the stuffing but he still turned out somewhat nice this is also something i will use maybe just to to add color into my booth he is purple and black maybe the lighting here doesn't allow you to see the proper color but that's him he is purple and black and i love him I'll try and make that pattern another day when I'm not in a rush so that I can make something cuter. She also had in her tutorial, her name is Mary Mix. Uh, in her tutorial, she uses the um, worsted weight yarn and it gives very, very beautiful mini dinos. And I intend to try using that one in future when I have more time. So that's him. Um, my I think I like him. He took me quite a bit, about an hour and a half or maybe maybe less, but more than an hour for sure. And he is gorgeous. That's another big item I made. The other thing I made to finish a cool ball of yarn was this nice beautiful basket. Very easy. They do have baskets in the wrapping for this yarn but i didn't follow the pattern i just kind of winged the basket like i say so i made it and then here i changed 10 and skipped i also skipped 10 um stitches there to make the handle and did it on the other side as well and then after that i only made one two three rows and it looks nice it's really soft i like it and I also added my tag. I ordered this off Amazon. They do have um, quite a large, um, whatever this is called, bolt and screw. So they are kind of, I would like a smaller, um, a smaller label, but it gives it, a, it makes it look more professional, so to speak. I don't know. I like it so there is a basket and this one works pretty fast maybe uh, in a less than an hour I was finished with this um, that's that I'll be make probably be making more baskets and also I made these ones are not to finish a whole ball of yarn but <laughs> look at that I made this beautiful um, pickles and i think i'm gonna be making more pickles for sure because they work very fast and they are kind of cute i never really thought about trying these ones these ones i didn't follow any pattern i just like i say go with the flow i just make made the tube and filled with um, with the my polyfill and added some eyes i did do some pop it popcorn um the the stitch that kind of pops out just to give it a different look there is patterns out there and i didn't follow a pattern though i just made it and i made the tiny one as well with the pink lips i think <laughs> i think i don't like that though i might have to take it off this one has the same green lips looks kind of grumpy but that's okay I'm gonna make more of this and I think that's about it the other thing I have been thinking about is how I can find 
eyes that are actually safe for kids. I have tried following a blog to crochet my own eyes. This one's kind of look creepy. They look like spiders, but anyways, the concept is to use the crochet thread, which is uh, way tight and make um, based on the size of eyes you you want make either six six uh, single crochets into a magic loop or eight or ten or twelve and that just makes the eye size bigger or smaller based on what you want and that's what I'm thinking I will do to make um, baby safe items I don't like how this the first one turned out but you can see I was trying to give it some eyebrows I will try do another one and see how that works but what I'm what I have decided is that I'll still go ahead and try and make these ones because I tried using felt but felt kind of frays a lot around and gets into the yarn and it looks dirty although even this yarn makes um, that area look darker than the rest I think it's way better than using felt however there is felt eyes out there that i believe i can buy i haven't found any that i have really considered maybe that will be the solution but for now i will crochet my own eyes just to have a few baby safe items for without safety eyes because as we know safety eyes are not really safe for babies because i have seen where the safety eye comes right off unless you have i have tried using a cloth to secure the eye in the back and sometimes even burn it but I, I haven't kept track of the things that I um, secured in that way so I really don't know in stuff toys which ones are safe for babies and which ones are not so in that case I will just go ahead and make a few items with eyes that are actually child safe I know I've repeated that so many times but I think safety is very very important so that's what um, I have been up to and I hope to come back with more items I believe I may not make any other video until after my market but for now that's what I have and from us to you for now it's goodbye I love these huge items and I'm gonna be making more of them so for now it's goodbye and we'll see you soon happy making happy crocheting happy knitting and just go with the flow bye thank you